What's going on guys? I don't know if you've seen the other video that I did with the new Bright here, but I picked this up at Target. It was 30 bucks. I was just drawn to it because it looked really cool. And you know guys, I like monster trucks. I've got tons of them now, but I don't have like a 1 16th scale one, uh, or new Bright calls this 1 15th scale. And I thought, man, that could be something fun to build. And so right from the get go, my thought with this was, Let's take this and do something better with it. Now it already has what looks like, you know, a chassis underneath it. I didn't, I couldn't tell in the box exactly. It's kind of cool how they put this together. There's just one screw here in the front. So we'll take it apart as we talk about this. But as you can see, I've got a whole bunch of steel rod. I've got some steel plate. I got threaded rod. And um, my goal is to go ahead and make this chassis, but do it out of steel. And so this kind of pops out here. These just, the body is actually kind of cool. You bend this plastic part of the chassis out and then take out the front screw. And then this is gonna literally kind of flip over this back part here. And so we don't have to do any damage to the body. It just pops right off. And it's got an actual chassis. You can see here. And so it's pretty wide. I mean, it's not going to be completely scale or anything like that necessarily, but I just thought, you know, they've done the work. It's plastic. Why don't I do the work and make something out of steel? So as you can see, I'm already even gone and made this brace, the main part. I got to bend it around here to get it to fit, but I measured it out off of this chassis here. So I've made my main piece. So I'll have to cut you know, another piece for the backer here. And then I'm just using this for measurements and bringing it over and it's my guide basically for making these pieces out of steel. So, um, I don't know. I thought it would be kind of fun to do. I could actually take this apart. These pop out here and you can take this, um, the actual chassis off cause it's just kind of held in here by clips on the bottom. But, uh, and then I could try to mount a, a metal one on here, but there's no suspension, anything like that. But I did find, I was looking for, you know, solid axles. Some people said, what about the WPL uh, toys? They've got metal upgrades for these, but they're pretty narrow. Even with the tire on, it's, it's only the width of the axle on this. So this is 1 15th scale. And even though this is a 1 16th scale, it's kind of it doesn't really line up because this is a smaller truck at 1 16th scale. So these axles aren't the right, right size. But what I did do is I found that the ECX barrage is almost spot on for the width of the axle and the width of this axle. So, um, the wheelbase on the barrage is longer because I thought, well, maybe I could just make this a really easy project and just buy the barrage doomsday, which has monster truck tires already and stick the body right on here. I don't even know where to put the body, you know, put it right on the barrage. The barrage wheelbase though is quite a bit longer. And then the chassis as well is going to be longer. And so I'd have to shorten the links, kind of work out some of that, which wouldn't be a big deal. You know, I could cut off a few things, but I, I still want to go with the idea of trying to make it kind of a scale monster truck. So we'll take the, the shocks off. Probably the transmission will work out of it. I think it runs a 390 motor in it. And so it's brushed. It, I'm not necessarily trying to make this like a competitive truck. It's just to be a scale and a little bit better than this. So I think with that transmission, running those axles, the drive shafts, pulling that out, I actually found the Doomsday because I was looking for those because they were on sale. It's basically like a Gen 2 barrage with the axles. It's got the nicer solid axles. Um, they're outboard shocks instead of running on the inside like the original barrage. And it's a hundred bucks. They went on sale at Christmas for a hundred bucks. And I found a shop. I think that still had it in stock. I ordered it. I'm hoping it gets shipped. Uh, but I had to order it through them because they're not really an online for sale thing. So, um, yeah, if that doesn't work, I'll have a buddy run up there and get it and ship it to me. So, um, yeah, I thought we'd just kind of take this apart and see what they did put in it just for kicks in this video and get a little bit of uh, work going on with um, the, the steel and uh, just see what, you know, I'm just curious about the build on these things sometimes. So I thought maybe I'd just start pulling, pulling it apart and see how it was built. <laughs> but I don't want to spend too much time doing that either. So we're just gonna 
quickly look at a few things, maybe. Here's what the board is in here. So there's the innards. And this just flips. And there's our batteries. They are wired directly to the board. That's why they are not replaceable batteries. You can see there, they wired it directly onto the board. Yeah, and so then the charger goes directly into the board from this cable, so we can actually pop that off. There you go. So the power cable is just coming in here. On off switch. Salvage the tires. Those can always be glued onto something else. All right, let's get moving. So that's uh, update number one on the El Toro Loco 115th, 116th ish scale build that we're doing here. Solid axle is what we want. I've got parts in the mail. I can't go any further with this until I get the uh, the shocks and everything, see where it's going to mount up, how I'm going to do the uh, transmission, all of that. So it's kind of on pause for right now, but it's all right. It's a little bit of a Franken build. I don't know what I'm doing. I just went and picked up. Where is it? This vice the other night when I decided I was going to do this because I needed a way to bend the pipes and I didn't have anything. So I've just been using that with a wrench like this one on the pipe to bend it. And uh, yeah, I don't know that that's the way to do it, but that's how I've been doing it. And I may have gone a little bit more intricate with the design than I should have in the first place. So I should have maybe done more straight things and just cut and welded. But uh, yeah, I'm just didn't know what to do so I'm just going for it There's much better people that know what they're doing when it comes to welding they should be the ones that you follow when you uh, do your own so just uh, forget how I did it it doesn't really matter it's just I'm putting it together so I do have other videos that are coming I've got a new chassis right over here so that might be in before the next video I don't know when the next updates coming I'm waiting on the ECX doomsday to get here to measure everything out like I said so that'll let me know what I want for a transmission plate what kind of mounting I'm going to do for the shocks and so on. So anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let us know what you think of the comments. What am I doing wrong? What am I doing right? Probably a lot of both. And uh, yeah, so anyway, um, be sure if you want to see more videos like this, uh, hit that subscribe button. You want to know when the videos come out so you can immediately give them a thumbs down like some people do. Go ahead and hit that bell. Uh, if you want to just see more videos and be notified, hit the bell as well. I just kid, I kid. But I thank you guys for tuning in and, uh, you know, hanging out and uh, just enjoying the hobby with me. So have fun RCing, guys. We'll catch you next time.